All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend he's truly truly something special i don't think he could take you down but tonight he doesn't have to so he does not in have this to. matchup prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas ladies and gentlemen this is the main event of the evening and when the action begins our referee in charge of the octagon is herb Dean. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. If you support Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 224 pounds. Russia. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong. The Apex! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Single collar tie now. Opens up with a front kick. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Just missed with the left there. Beautiful straight counter. He engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, lands an elbow. Didn't open him up, but very well could have. Left punch is true. Just misses with the straight left. Oh, big 
big punch lands. Oh, nice elbow there in the clinch. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. And here he is back in familiar territory in the clinch. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Getting it to land exactly where you want it to. So a combination of knees here. You don't see this all the time where a fighter will, will throw multiple knees, but if it's not broken, he'll fix it. There's no takedown threat. If there was a takedown threat, he would not be throwing so many knees. But there's no threat to get taken down, so he is just letting those knees fly. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Great punch landed with so much power. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. It's real nice by the Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Ooh. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. Oh, the difference in the striking is crazy. Big punch position. Watch him get busy with that other hand. And just misses with that big right hand. Again, back into this position. Oh, nice check on the leg kick off right there. Slips. Big punch lands through the middle. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Again, back into this position. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. Blocks the shot. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Well, he has stayed technical, but he is really starting to chew up the opposition now. He came out super aggressive, as aggressive really as we've ever seen him in the UFC, and now starting to uptick the volume again. Nice start here in round one. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. He lands a switch knee. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Another clinch position. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, huge right hand! All right, that horn marks the end of the round. There was a lot to like, really, on both sides, but particularly that Superman punch, an absolute thing of beauty. Beautiful attack. Her ability to let loose in the octagon is truly a sight to behold. Not many people are willing to try something so risky. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round underway. Nice punch, man. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, Superman punches good. You can tell he's been working on that. Big right hand there. Combinations here. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Good stick. Throw that hook. 
Able to check that kick as well. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Ooh, head kick lands, he hurts. Nice strike. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse, you gotta play cat and mouse. Hit, don't get hit, you a great job of that. He lands a big knee to the body. And he counters with a left hand. Oh, a single collar tie there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, his way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Left hand is true. That will absolutely work. He throws it like a pistol back and forth. He's landing that beautiful left hand. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. There's no tell on that leg kick. All right, single collar tie now. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in the Oh! Way. He just start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Just a slip there. Great punch. Got the single collar tie. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right here. Oh, there's the head kick. It's blocked. Trying to establish that jab once again. That's a big strike right there. You can't take too many of those big elbows. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Oh, single collar tie here. You take more of these leg kicks, not be able to be very active on your feet. And he connects there. Punch is blocked. Glanza, Glanza. Oh! What a fantastic strike. Oh! Didn't like that left hand. Trying to stay in this fight. That left hand found the entertaining oh, scrap so far. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Slips the left hand. Oh, collar tie. 
and they separate. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. Beautiful strike. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight, lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Punch over the top. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, he got absolute man. He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 47 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.